And then what I'll do is I'll take salsa and I'll mix that into there too. So I like I pre cook the meat with the salsa. Then I put that on the nachos because that way you don't have to worry about dipping the chips into the salsa. I don't know if that sounds really weird or not. And for me, when I do cooking, I'm always like, how can I add... Um, how can I add onions to what I'm cooking? Are these just raiders? Viper gunslingers. What are they doing out here? A magnum revolver. Yeah, so we'll take all this. Ball cap, fixer, temporary addiction removal. I don't think we're going to need that. Slow, cool, slow roast temporary of red wine sauce and sauteed broccoli. Wow, that sounds far more impressive than anything I've cooked. Um, I'm not one of those guys, like, when they cook. So, I, I feel like, I don't know if this is true or not, but a lot of bachelors, like, when they do cook, they might just do, like, say, frozen meals or, like, something that's easily, like, microwaved. I guess, like, I don't know how common it is to cook. Whereas, like, for me, like, I don't think I'm... So, basically, what you described in the chat, the roasted, slow roasted tenderloin with red wine sauce and sauteed broccoli, I don't think I could quite do that but i can do things like make my own chili or i mean like a fried rice recipe like i can do stuff like that but I hear the great cons got massacred again. No survivors this time. yeah oh dude cooking and baking i made um i made s'more cookies the other day and they turned out really good <clears throat> baking is a lot of fun i i will say i haven't done anything too adventurous of baking yet because i'm just starting to get into it um and i love cooking as well like cooking for myself is a lot of fun like um making pizzas like that's what i like to do like and this is what i'm saying like for as far as like cooking though i don't think i'm a great cook i cook pretty simple stuff like so like a chili i don't think is too elaborate because you just throw a lot of things together or like a pizza like i don't think that's too elaborate but i still enjoy the cooking process um but baking like i like baking it's a lot of fun it's hard though but i haven't gotten very far into it like i've done um I've done cookies. Like, I've been doing some cookie recipes, but, like, that's about as complicated as I've gotten so far. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, let's see what you're we have. Sure. If you have stim packs, stim packs, I'm, I would love to have them. Healing powder, uh, nope. And we will give you Annabelle? No, I that break you all right cool how often do I make cakes so often but I have bad wrists and it really hurts to make doughs and such sometimes oh yeah I can I can see that the other problem with baking at least for me is like it's really like fattening so like sometimes like I'll make a whole batch of cookies and I'm like dude I just want to eat the whole thing um which probably isn't like good for me so like everything in moderation but that's why like, i make baking and i just bring it to work and i've only done cookies so far because a they're easy to transport because i bike to work so i need something i can put into a bag um or put into a container and then put into my backpack so i need something that's a little bit durable and then cookies are for the most part like that kind of durable um also cookies are simple for me to make whereas a cake that would be hard to do though i think i would have interest in trying hey hello no offense but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Yeah. Where'd you come from? This brings the grave. I came from the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? What? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Ron has a nice companion. Okay. Cakes aren't too hard once you get used to it. Oh, and that's just it. Cookies at first I thought were very hard to make, but then I started making a few different kinds of cookies, and um, I was like, oh, they're not that bad. Like, again, I don't think I'm a master baker by any stretch. Like, I'm super novice. 
Uh, but cakes, I can't imagine, aren't too difficult. I had a run in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. And I'm sure Veronica's a lovely companion, but I already have Raul. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, tell them six. They're usually harmless unless you have advantage. Um, well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. But you have a power fist on. So, where are you headed anyway? Uh, going to see an old friend. I go where I'm needed. Bam, that's the answer. I kind of, well, yeah. Guess we have that in common then. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. But, like... Uh, where are you hoping to go? Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. Oh, I want to maybe see we should take Veronica. But... <sighs> Here, here's the cross war roads I'm at. Uh, I'd like to, but I can't take you with me right now. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay. Okay, so I guess we can come back here eventually. If we run into each other again. So, like, I want to have her with me, but Raul, man, like, uh, I can't give him up. Though maybe I should. I should um expand my horizons a little bit. Welcome to the 188 slop and shop. Well, I sh what I should do is I fight. I should find his shack first before I um dismiss him because I that's where he's gonna go. Uh, nope, nothing of interest. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, yeah, because, um, Veronica's melee, which is, like, it's fine. Um, I have nothing, like, I have nothing against Veronica. Like, I would gladly take her. Uh, and I think Raul would compliment my playstyle a little bit more because he is ranged and I'm melee. But, um, honestly, like, I, I think I should take her with me at some point. But I want to do Raul's, like, quest first. Oh, and that's the strip. Okay, so we can't really go there yet. Um, I just find Raul to be interesting. Though I'm not saying Bronca isn't interesting. I feel like now, like, I'm careful. Cause I feel like whatever I'm going to say, I might offend someone, and that's bad. Don't want to offend people. I've already offended people earlier today. Um, so we'll come back for Bronca. Like, we, now we know where she is. Um... And I, that's one thing I do appreciate about New Vegas. I feel like a lot of the companions are um, very strong. Like, they're good companions. Like, they're interesting to have, like, Arcade, Boone, uh, Veronica, uh, Lily. Is that? NCR, I'm proud. All right, so we're walking over to the strip right now, which I don't know if I really want to do that. I feel like there's more areas I need to go to. Vault 3, don't... Well, let's go to Jacob's Town, actually. Let's go there indeed. Yeah, I, so a lot of people really like Boone. Boone's, like, fine for me. I'm more of, um... Dude, I just... Raul, man. Like, I, I can't get over him. Yeah, yeah, Boone's, like, fine, but, like, he's not... I think some people really like Boone because he's powerful and he can do a lot of damage. I'm, uh... And like as far as like a character and like backstory, like he's just like he's fine. I like like Raul sounds cool. Like that's why I like him. He's like he just like the voice actor just does a good job playing him. And I like his you know his character a lot too. Oh, we get out. Oh, I get it. This is gonna take some time to get to Jacob's Sound. Luckily, we have nothing but time. Yeah, but I can see why Boone's annoying, right? Like, he's um. He's obviously dealing a lot. Like, I know a little bit about Boone's backstory because I've played this game before. Um, like, he's quite reserved. He's not necessarily a jovial person. And, like, for me, myself, I'm definitely more attracted to the um, uh, light-hearted people. Like, I like to think I'm a pretty friendly guy. Or, at the very least, I'm energetic and I'm... I'm... All right. Dude, we're gonna get vilified for too long. 
More anti venom. Dude, this is insane. Um So I like pleasant people and I don't think Boone's necessarily a pleasant guy. Like I don't think he's a bad person or anything, but he's just like Um Eh Like it's um I can't like I think he understands. Oh yeah, like and that's and that's just it. Sometimes like and I think that applies to real life too. Like you understand where these people are coming from, like why they're why people are the way that they are, but just because they're like that doesn't necessarily mean like you have to like them. Like same idea of Boone, right? Like I You know where he's coming from, but I I just think for like if I had to choose between having Boone or not having anyone, like I would have Boone. But the problem is like as far as the companions go, like I would have I would rather have Ronka over Boone, I would rather have Raul over Boone, I'd rather have Lily over Boone, like um, I don't know where he stands on, like, my hierarchy, but he's not at the top. I'd rather have, uh, Cass. Cass is fun. I like having Cass around. Um, but that's the problem. We can only have one, and it's just, like, sorry, like, for me, Raul's the 10 out of 10, so I pick him, whereas the other ones, like, I think are really good, but they're not the 10 out of 10 for me. But that's why I think it's good to, like, swap them out, so you get to experience, like, all of them. And right now, I'm still right on, like, the... the the excitement, the excitement that is uh, having the ghoul companion. I'm like, yes, I finally have him. But then, you know, later on, was like maybe in the later stream, I'll go back and um, uh, switch someone out. And I think right now the conditionals I'll need to do that is to have. Um, I need to find Raul's shack, which I know like where that is roughly, and I want to do his personal story. That's kind of what I'm aiming to do right now. As I say, as I go to Jacob's town. And I need to, like, look up a map, too, because I need to, um... Need to get rid of a sense of where I want to go. What I can use for some extra levels, etc., etc. So I think we'll do the Jacob's Town quest, or at least, very least, get there. I think as far as combat potential goes, I think... Boone's one of the best. Although, Rollo can do things like that, though apparently, I guess, uh, Boone can as well. So that's just my thoughts on the companions, and um, I think overall the uh, the follow New Vegas. Oh my goodness, we really have a ways to go. Okay, well, the follow New Vegas companions are a lot stronger than the follow three companions, in my mind. I had fun with the follow three companions, but like now that I've like played the game some more, I've really come to the understanding that uh, I like the I like the New Vegas companions more so. The Fallout 4 companions, though, I wish I, um... I wish I spent a little bit more time playing the game, because I did like the Fallout 4 companions. They're all nice in their own ways, I agree. Kakomi, I don't think I really want any of that. So that's my stance on, um, the companions. As for baking and, like, getting the wrist sore, uh, there's a lot of things about baking that I think are, like, difficult in their own ways. Like, I think, for, for me, I would actually go as far as say that I think baking is actually a science. Um, and maybe even a difficult one at that. Because, like, you have to be, like, so precise about it. Is Legion all the way out here, or is, are these raiders? No, I don't like to save my own blood. I like to save your blood, though. Yeah, so we just ignore their armor now, which is nice. Uh, what do we have? Nice. Okay, so that's pretty good. And I'm not taking the armor, because I just... I don't think there's a point. It's very heavy and doesn't sell for as much. Brass Knuckles, perfect. Cowboy Repeater. And we should maybe consider giving, uh, Raul his own weapon, but... Everything in his time. Like, I, for me, I think the hardest part about baking, I don't know if I really said this, is that, um, getting the temperatures right. Yeah, I mean, baking is chemistry. I don't think I'm wrong by saying it's a science, though. I think, what is going on? Oh, hello. He has a flamethrower. We're gonna have to go kill him. Uh, 
Yeah, so yeah, I know. Baking is chemistry, because you have to understand how like things interact with each other. But isn't chemistry also science? So therefore